Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, July 21st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. And I don't have any pets. Well, they're around, but not right with me. <laughs> the cat is wandering the house, and the dog sits in the bathroom waiting for his walk. But I do have the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus and Mary and the baby. We continue with the daily office in the book of Joshua, which I have to say is a very, very violent book. It's all about war. And it's important that we understand the mindset of the Israelite people back then who lived in a desert climate and all that they knew was you either kill the tribe next to you or they kill you because there isn't enough land and there isn't enough water. So for God to be on your side means that you win and you kill. So Joshua and his uh, compatriots have taken the city of Jericho and the next city along the path is the city of Ai, A-I. So first they just rush to Ai thinking they can take it without planning and they get defeated. They get chased away by the soldiers of Ai and humiliated and Joshua just falls down on his knees crying and the people start going to doubting again and they think God isn't with them. But Joshua gets back up and he decides to try again. And this time he comes at the city with some of his troops in the same way that he did the first time. But this time, a lot of his troops are on the other side of the city. So when the troops of Ai come out to chase him away, his other troops come in and they burn it to the ground. So violent. It's difficult in our lives when we make mistakes to just feel terrible but what Joshua does is he learns. We really have a choice, don't we? The worse the mistake, the more we can learn. Failure is one of the best teachers. Joshua cries, he begs uh, God, but then he gets up. And instead of saying, what if I had done this? What if I had done this? He says, what did I learn? Let me not make the same mistake twice. Let me do this differently. So I ask you, we want a peaceful world and we know now that this kind of horrible slaughter and the taking of land is not something that God wants. But we are in lots of different kinds of struggles and battles, particularly with our darker nature uh, and people that may not respect us. So what do we do when we fall down? What do we do when we fail? It's easy to hide or to feel bad about ourselves. Shame is so prevalent right now. But shame is a waste of time. Shame is of the darkness. So when you make a mistake, when you hurt someone's feelings or hurt yourself, when you make a terrible mistake, learn, pray, get up like Joshua and do it differently. Remember that God's name is not I was or I will be, it is I am. We can't control what we've done in the past, it's over. We can't predict what will happen in the future. What we have is this moment with God, I am, and the choice. What do we do? The choice is yours. Let us pray. Almighty God, we may feel powerless in this time in which we are so isolated and this pandemic goes on and on. We think back to the times when we just thought it would be a couple weeks <laughs> and it's, it's really become a new chapter of our lives. In this chapter, help us to be present in the moment, to think of the things that 
we cannot control and then to think of the things that we can influence. And if we fail, to learn and to do things differently. Help us to pick ourselves up and try to affect that which we can and try to do that which we can one step at a time. We continue to pray for this world, for the healing of this world, not just of the virus, but of our own natures. Enlighten us, Lord, and bring us closer to you. Help us to move more into the vision that Jesus cast for us, a vision of the kingdom of God and of peace and respect for all people. Bless those who are ill. Bless those who care for them. Bless the dying. Be in the hands of all who are working very hard in this time and be in the hearts and in the courage of those who have no work. Watch over us, O oh Lord. Thank you for this very moment in which you are with us. Help us to make the right choices. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. And we've been joined by a cat who decided to have a second round of breakfast. God bless you. Have a great day.